Hello friends, coffee lovers. Um, I am currently in Michigan. Brian and I drove the camper from Texas to here. We're still living in Austin for um, a few more months, but wanted to get the camper here, take this time when I'm not really working to be working on um, Hazel. So this video is gonna be super random. I'm gonna apologize in advance. It's very jumbled. Coming home, I've been really bad about like staying on top of recording and making videos. So as we've been making updates to the camper, I've just been recording a bunch of randomness. The camera dies and then I won't record a bunch of stuff and I don't know. So just bear with me and hopefully something good comes out of this. <laughs> Hello there! We made it to Michigan with the camper and I'm going to start putting the finishing touches on her. Super, super excited. So happy I made it here in one piece. Towed beautifully. And yeah, today um, it's pretty rainy here in Michigan so I think it's just going to be some deep cleaning, organizing some stuff, bringing some stuff in the camper and kind of figuring out the design. But super pumped all right i already swept up the floors we got the fridge put in thankfully fits under there but this is the inside if you haven't seen it yet um i basically want to like clean out these cabinets give everything just a nice wipe down because it's been in storage for a while it's crazy exciting watching this come to life i just want to like first thing in the morning come sit in here because i'm just in awe that it's real um it feels really good got my soapy water Heading in. All right. Is this going on your channel? Yeah. The okay, so put some stuff online at Home Depot. Went by and picked it up this morning. So we've got some brackets for shelving, a plank of wood for shelving, and then chalkboard paint um, to make the menu. It's still raining, so we can't really get painting outside yet. Who knows if that's gonna get done. But I think we're gonna start with the shelving today. And we wanna take a look at this thing. We're thinking of replacing it with wood or basically just something prettier than what it is now. So those are the tasks at hand today, and we're gonna bring you along. Okay, so we have, to, this is like a really weird location for that. You wanna hold that? Yeah. We have to measure from this wall to that wall to make sure that we have the right measurements to cut on this because the shelf is going to go from like flush with this wall flush with the other wall so i actually measured it <clears throat> i already marked it so it's basically like exactly <clears throat> it's basically exactly 80 inches so that's marked already right here so i don't know how you what you want to use to cut it but right there so Everything's parked so close. So close. <laughs> don't, don't mind me and my eight, feet, eight foot piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it until you said it. This is my garage, which was once our workshop slash my dad's wine cellar. Um, we used to have everything nice and organized, but we kind of have obviously a bunch of things in here now. So we're going to try to get back into all of our things that we haven't used in a while and finally put it back to use. about having it about that height on both sides we very mathematically marked our holes up top um let's just hope that we're not like making a mess of this thing but we're going for it we're gonna do it do it we're gonna see how this works don't look at it too much. That's the key. That's the key good. in anything you do. Don't look at it too much. It looks pretty good. I'm happy with that one. All right. Let's see. Let us see. Huh? 
it's not coming in this side. We're gonna have to sand it for a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna try to shave off some of the corners because I think that's what was causing it to catch. All right, so these doors all open the same way, so we're just gonna flip that one, and we're gonna flip this one. It just opens this way, and it kind of gets in the way here. It'd be a lot nicer if it opened opposite. Uh, we finally got this guy cut to size. A little janky, but it does the job. So that is looking great, matching everything else. We have our shelf up top. It fits nice. This is coming together. Thank you, Bri. You're welcome. Wow. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. It's much later in the day, so I apologize about the lighting, and if you cannot see, but we totally just ripped out the material that was up here and we're replacing the sides. I don't know what we're doing with the middle yet, but we're replacing, ooh, replacing the sides with this beautiful barn wood that we got from our friend Alan. Day one, that's a wrap. I'm watching the dad who made a YouTube video for people without dads. Aww and the lovely sign that my family made. Welcome home, Scrappy. <laughs> but how cute is that? That turned out pretty darn great. <gasps> hey, it popped open again. <laughs> so we fixed the window. Um, now we can close it easily, but it's not staying closed, so we fixed it a little too well. We'll have to adjust that. Did you, did you tape it last night? Yeah. Really? Wow. It is day two of our camper renovation. Really not day two, but day two of having the general build complete and just doing some touch-ups, making sure everything's running smoothly. I'm gonna touch up some paint today maybe start working on our menu and yeah just make sure everything's looking good i might start bringing some things in here just to get the overall feel of what this is going to be like i have my sister and we are just going to touch up all the areas that need to be painted around the camper woo so step one is to open the paint <laughs> Two down, one to go. So I'm gonna be truthful and say the contractor that we hired did not go so well. There's a lot of things we're finding that he just did a really poor job. Um, yeah, so we're basically redoing a lot of his work. Little things like he added this metal piece around all of our outlets because he originally didn't, he cut too big of a hole, so now we've got this around. He didn't add all of the screws for anything. Obviously we had to redo the window he did and these sinks are just a nightmare. That will not pass health inspection because there'll be too much still water sitting. So we're gonna have to go buy new sinks, which totally just eats into the fact that I paid him. In our contract, it said $400 for new sinks. These are not new. We did try to contact him multiple, multiple times, and he has just completely stopped responding to anything. It's been about three months of me trying to contact him to get him to come fix some stuff that he guaranteed us he would fix. It just never happened. Well, do your research, maybe pay a little extra. If you're going to pay for a contractor to get somebody that has a following and reviews and 
crazy. You're sure we'll do it right because yeah, we're just basically redoing everything, all of his work. All of that aside, I'm gonna work on the menu. Um, I am very into like flipping and picking and all that good stuff. So this is an old screen that um, I bought planning on doing a project with. Thankfully, I didn't do a project with it. So uh, I am going to use this thick poster board that we also had laying around our house, paint it with some chalkboard paint, and this is gonna be our menu. This is a hack that I learned from my boss, actually. If you buy an actual chalkboard, it's gonna be really, really heavy, and it's got a lot of weight on it when you're trying to hang it up, but if you just buy some thick poster board and chalkboard paint, it's gonna be a lot lighter, a lot easier to work with, especially when you're taking it down, changing menu items, all that jazz. So very nice, easy hack for a menu. Coat number one is done. This is what the menus are gonna look like. I think they're so cute. I'm probably gonna put some Velcro underneath. That way it's easier to just like take them off and then write on the menu if I ever need to change anything, but loving it. Help from the little bro. <laughs> Got the whole family in on it. Brian is currently inside the camper, working hard. We have our equipment. I will have to show you all of the updates that we've done. How's it going? You know. So this is the beautiful machine. It did come with a bent panel on top. Because of the way it was packaged, the water pump was sitting up top here. So I'm gonna message them about that um, or look into fixing or replacing it. But. We've got a lot of stuff in here. We changed the knobs on these. Got a little trash can. We've got our shelving up. My amazing dad fixed these sinks, thank goodness. Um, just bought new parts and now they sit flush, which is amazing. The men of the week. Taking a peek inside. We've got a lot going on, but everything is looking so good. I'm so impressed with how much we got done. There's still way more to do, but we've got our grinder, our beautiful machine that I'm hoping works. The pitcher rinser is nice and secure. We hopefully have our plumbing situated, figured out. You saw the sinks, some storage got some odds and ends in here Brian made this amazing box for my knock box which I love um, we might end up dropping it into the counter but for now this is the way to go and um, this awesome stool we repurposed a while ago which is gonna be great for storing cups and lids this was just sitting in my house and it fits in perfectly, so I'm really excited about that. Oh, I just love sitting in here and couldn't be more pleased with how much we've done. It's gonna be very hard to leave behind for a few months. I just wanna spend every day out here. Once again, I know how scattered this video is. I look like a mess. We're leaving tomorrow trying to get everything figured out with the camper. Um, unfortunately, we could not get the machine turned on. The machine seems fine, but we just didn't have all the right tools and I'd feel a lot more comfortable having somebody who knows what they're doing here with me to help. So I'm just gonna wait till I come home next time to plug all that up. But we do have the plumbing worked out. Unfortunately, the contractor didn't do the electrical. Um, only half of the plugs work and the lights don't turn on. So my uncle, thank goodness, is going to come by and fix that. We've remained positive though, we've made it work. 
do your research. Ryan and my dad are getting all of the equipment out of the camper to store at home so that there's nothing super valuable in the camper when it's being stored in a storage lot. So they're doing that now, it's really hot. I'm so thankful for their help. They've done so much this past month that like, I just, I would not have been able to do this by myself. So I'm really thankful for them, my uncles who have come over to help. It's just, oh, and we got to sit in the camper and start getting that feeling of what it's gonna be like. I'm so sad to leave it, but I'm very excited to have 10 more months in Austin. Absolutely love that city and Hopefully you guys follow along with the journey. I will update everybody as much as I possibly can. Um, follow me on Instagram. I'll keep everything up to date as much as I can there too with how we're going, when we're planning on opening. So many questions right now that I don't have the answers to, but it's been a fun ride already and thanks. Thank you.